Now, haven't we seen this one before? I gotta dig right into this review. I love these kinds of accessories. Our phones keep getting more powerful, but getting all that power out of our phones requires some savvy accessories. It's also nice when that accessory can be used for a variety of different situations. Now, I've been rocking some form of neck stock since the second gen, the metal body neck stock, and recently I test drove some competing options. The neck stock 360 is a familiar return to form. You take the general shape of a consumer laptop, you gut out the computer bits, and you use the screen, keyboard, trackpad, and battery with another computer. Here the frame is thin with fully wraparound hinges like hybrid laptops that can go tent mode or full-on tablet mode. This really helps add functionality where it can replace a laptop, it can become a powered second screen for a laptop, or you can connect it to anything else that you might want an external display, like cameras and game consoles. My joke at the top of this video though, this form factor is exceedingly similar, it's very similar to the U-Perfect X I reviewed a couple weeks back. The keyboard is very similar, the trackpad is about the same, touchscreen, battery, even down to the mediocre speakers. But Nextdoc's business model is a little different, where to keep prices lower, they seem to ship out batches based on pre-orders. That means there can be longer windows between ordering and actually getting your next stock. There are people who last year put in pre-orders for the previous generation dock, and they had to get moved over to the 360. U-Perfect seems to stock more regularly and they ship product more consistently, but it's also more expensive, $80 more expensive. In this Chromebook price tier, $80 ain't nothing to sneeze at. But here's the one major difference and why if you're shopping a solution like these, it might be worth getting in line and waiting for the next dock. I'm, I'm gonna put the U Perfect down because gesturing with two laptops is kind of silly. And this one's good. This is better than just saving a little extra cash. There's one extra port on the next dock 360. One beautiful, critical, functional little port. The U-Perfect that I just set down on the ground lacks any kind of USB plug in. The next dock has one extra USB accessory port. You can hook up storage, add a laptop hub, ethernet adapter, anything you need. I flippin' love that because I kind of need that. And the rest of this is on point. I mean, it's really funny to think that our phones are losing hardware features like headphone jacks and memory card slots, which I can now replace by using a laptop dock. And I'm making the funny joke face, but no joke. I, what I liked about that, I was recently on a road trip and I was able to back up photos and videos from my phone to make sure we had a safe copy. You know, we were traveling through poor reception areas in rural New Mexico, so we couldn't count on the cloud. This dock is staying nice and thin and light, but battery life is still pretty solid. The dock charges your phone while you work, and that battery also runs the display. So while charging a phone, the dock can drain almost 20% per hour. It's got a 5,800 milliamp hour battery and phones aren't too far off from that. If you're thinking about the 5,000 milliamp hour battery on a V60, if your V60 is running low, it's gonna take a big chunk out of this dock. But if you aren't charging the phone, or if your phone's topped off, you get a lot more runtime, obviously. Testing it out over the weekend, writing this script on it, I got just over six hours letting my phone run down. And I would say six hours is a reasonable estimate for this as a portable display. It's one of the important differences on this next dock versus previous generations, like the U-Perfect, there's a much better collection of controls baked in. It's way easier to adjust screen settings and you can choose whether you wanna charge your phone or let it run passively. And that's good, especially on newer, hotter phones. You might not want to run the phone hard and cook the battery. That two finger swipe to pull up the OSD, the, the monitor controls, that's kind of rad, it's very helpful. But the rest kind of depends on your host device. You know, I've seen 
lots of complaints about things like the track pads on these laptop docks, and we totally take palm rejection for granted on proper laptops, but this combo of phone and keyboard and trackpad isn't smart enough to handle all that. Not until Android gets a lot wiser and the lap docks can properly track hand position with sensors and stuff. I use these things a lot. I travel with them. So I get a feel for it pretty quick. It only takes a few brushes of the trackpad for you to start floating and holding your hands a different way. And if you got that, I totally am using the Apple excuse. Uh, you're, you're holding it wrong. Now, while I, I, I really like to highlight phones and laptop modes, like uh, LG Screen Plus, Moto Ready 4, Samsung DeX, but these things are tremendously helpful for other activities like PC building. If you're hooking this up on a project build, I'm gonna be tinkering with my Nook soon, maybe getting it in a new case, and it's way easier to use something like this than connecting a little project computer to a standalone monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Maybe you wanna play with a Raspberry Pi. This is ready to go. And that's what's such a bummer about having these awesome portable computers. I do worry that we're starting to lose this kind of advanced functionality. You know, not a lot of focus on features like DeX these days from Samsung. And it's really convenient to say things like, well, consumers don't do computer things with their phones. But if it's not easy to use DeX, then it doesn't really deliver much benefit. If there's not a first party hardware solution to get DeX out of your phone and you've got to build a mini desktop setup to use it, who's gonna use it? And you can miss me with the solution of, I can use DeX like a computer on another full-fledged computer. It's kind of cynical, but Samsung also sells laptops and tablets, so why displace laptop sales by encouraging folks to use their phones more? But at the end of the day, we don't need another phone stand style dock, a collection of ports on a block and you supply all the other bits. We need hardware that will make using a desktop mode as accessible as possible. One cable to get this hooked up and then everything is taken care of for you. The next Dock 360 smushes all those bits together and arrives at a price that handily competes with buying each piece separate. I want you to shop a good battery powered portable monitor. How much money do you have left for a keyboard, mouse, and maybe a small power bank to charge your phone. And once you've set all that gear up, will it be as functional as a laptop dock with extra ports and speakers? I surmise that it will not. This is the critical techie shame, the gap in our gadget commentary for all the families that might need some additional computer in their household, or for the folks looking to maximize a phone purchase. A first party dock from Samsung or LG or Motorola would absolutely move this idea farther with consumers. So instead, we're left with boutique solutions from much smaller manufacturers who have little to no muscle for advertising. And I get it. I routinely get those criticisms on these reviews, like, if you're already carrying a laptop shell, why not carry a proper laptop? And I need to keep preempting those comments because for $300, what kind of laptop are you gonna buy? You can pair this with a Galaxy S10, an LG V60 or Velvet, phones that are probably more powerful than inexpensive Chromebooks. And in a year or two, when you upgrade your phone, your $300 laptop gets an upgrade too. Does a $300 Chromebook get more powerful? after years of ownership? I surmise that it will not. And that's where something like this requires a little deprogramming. A universal accessory only needs a USB-C cable to connect that should well outlast a single phone purchase and will hopefully keep up over several generations of phones. I mean, that should be a little refreshing too. We're so programmed to buy things for one phone that only work with that phone. Of course, the concern, we have to count on phone manufacturers continuing to offer features that improve that kind of functionality. We have to hope they keep including things like desktop modes for us to use these to really get all that power out of our phones. Back specifically to the next Doc 360 so we can wrap this video up. This is the best version, the cleanest implementation, and the most feature complete option 
for someone who is shopping a portable display. And this is gonna come in clutch for anyone who might need an additional screen somewhere else in their gadget lineup. It comes in at the most competitive price. The main drawback, you'll have to get in line with pre-orders. But if you're shopping something to really take that use next level, I think it's worth getting in line. I'll of course leave a link down below for more info on the next Dock 360. And I really hope you check out some accessories like these. They really come in handy. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to the channel. Supporting your favorite content creators, never been more critical. So I greatly appreciate those of you who are checking out the links down below. Maybe you're shopping a little merch. That kind of stuff really does help keep production rolling on this channel. Full list of all my affiliates and partnerships on somegadgetguy.com, or you might consider, just maybe, joining the list of names scrolling by on your screen from my Patreon, patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. This list is basically a collection of the coolest tech pals on the planet, so I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at somegadgetguy on the Twitters and the Twitch, not so much on the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next review.